Hi, my name is Ashton Conaway, and I am currently a fourth grade teacher in the state of Delaware. I am working towards my master's um, in educational technology leadership at Concordia University, their online MED program. Um, this class, we are studying current trends in educational technology, and we discuss different ways that you can integrate technology into your classroom. So for this specific assignment, we needed to research a technology that we could bring into our classroom and use it to its full ability. So um, my class is lucky to have iPads provided to them every single day. Therefore, I did some research on an augmented reality app that I could use in science, in writing, and other subjects. So the app is actually called the Quiver app. Um, once you download it, it looks just like this. They also have a website where you can go on and do some more studying and research and grab some more resources off of there. So after you've downloaded the app, this is actually one of the free apps. They do have the Quiver Education app that does um, cost money, but it comes with a lot of great, useful, and helpful resources. So once you get to the app, you can click on it and it pops up. You are able to print the pictures right from the app or from the website as well. And then you can get the students to color them similar to what we've done here with our two examples. Okay, and then after you have colored them, you are going to click on this button right down here. Once you click on this button, you wanna make sure that the picture is fully aligned with the camera. If it's red, that's your cue that it's not. But once it turns blue, you can go ahead and follow the directions. And just like that, it brings your image to life there I'll let you listen um, it does provide some information about the animal or about um, if you're working with geography about the states and oceans and so on and so forth its relatives the rice and maize weevils grain weevils cannot fly so this one's about weebles and there are different options down here you can click this to see what its real color would look like to bring it to life even more. You can also take a little quiz about the different structures. And this would be a great resource to use in our um, fourth grade Structures of Life Science Unit where we study different animals and we research their structures and the importance of their structures and so on and so forth. And the other example I have is a picture of a volcano. So same concept, you come back to the homepage, you want to make sure you get the whole image and it will pull out the colored part once it turns blue. There we go. Okay, and it brings your image to life just like this. This one, you can also change the colors and the sound effects. And they can see what the inside of a volcano looks like. And this one also has the option for the students to take a quiz to identify the seven components of the volcano so they can start the quiz and it'll ask them to identify and label the different parts of a volcano. So this is a great way to um, to have the students be more creative and to kind of think outside of the box and see their pictures come to life. This could be another great resource that can be used um, in a science class as well. There's also a lot of great resources for geography. Um, they have the United States, different flags, so on and so forth. And if you go on the website, you are able to print those off as well. This is the homepage of the Quiver Vision webpage. And you can scroll through, and the homepage gives you a layout of all the neat things that you can do on their app. There are some options um, up top. This option goes into a little deeper of different things that you can use the app for, for fun, for education purposes, and so on and so forth. The coloring packs can be located by clicking on coloring packs, and you will see all of the different options. You will see that some of them are free and some of them cost money. The free education apps are located right here, and you can view the pack, and then you can see your options here. So we have a plant cell, we have the different flags, we have the volcano, the earth, and the animal cell. And you can download these and you can print them right from your computer.